It's a ledger. The Syndicate's entire infrastructure. Who they are, the politicians they control, and where the money comes from. It's everything you want to know. What makes you think this so-called ledger is authentic? Why would Lane want it so badly if it wasn't authentic? Why would he ever let you have it if it was? Did you never stop to consider that he may want me to have it? Misinformation, manipulation, it's what he does, Ilsa. It's what he's trained to do. Lane lies to you, you sell these lies to Hunt. Together, you're both compromised. That's his ultimate objective. This may be authentic, but there's only one person I trust to verify that information. You. No. My orders were to deliver you information regarding the syndicate. Your orders were to infiltrate the syndicate that we may learn more about them firsthand. This isn't proof, it's a test like everything else. The only way to pass is to go back. I can't do that. I have betrayed Lane's trust too many times. And in every instance, you did so on your own volition. He was going to torture and kill an American agent. And you should have let him. Then he would still have Lane's trust. This is the trade. Hunt understands that. I wasn't going to let him die. He's our ally. There are no allies in statecraft, Ilsa. Only common interests. As it stands, Ethan Hunt is a man without a country. This makes killing him decidedly less complicated. Are you ordering me to kill Hunt? Good God, no. Nothing so crude as that, no. Lane will order you, and to regain his trust, you will do it. You sent me to do a job. I did it. Now you bring me in. Might I remind you, you are without a country of your own? The director of the CIA called me, inquiring about you personally. Of course, to protect your cover, I had to lie. So as far as the Americans are concerned, you're a rogue assassin, a target of opportunity. Precious few people know about your true identity. It would be unfortunate if we forgot. You see, there really is no choice, Ilsa. You're going back. <laughs>